Good morning Vietnam. Let's have a look then. Where are we? There we go. Way hey hey. Way hey hey. I might have to take this background off actually. Not because this arsehole's here. But because when you hold things up to the screen. They go wrong when you have this background feature activated. Now I think about it. I've got to turn it off. There. N naked. Naked is the day I was born. And whilst we're in this mode. Look you can have a look at food monster who's been waiting out she knows she knows when i've got treats I'm not giving to her it's all gone now it's all gone all the treats have gone now all of them have gone you watch now she'll be good she'll be out here now anyway hello everybody um i just thought as i bought one of these because they were actually fairly reasonably priced for once um hero 10 hero 10 uh something I don't know. Is it the Hero Ten? Yeah, Hero. Yeah, no. It's the, no, I was wondering. Is it the Hero Ten Black? I don't think I actually ordered the one I wanted to get. Now I think about it, because it's the first time I've grabbed it. I'm like, Hero Ten, but it's like, didn't I want to get the Hero Ten Black? Oh, maybe I didn't quite order the right thing. Hang on, let me just check what the price. What the price difference is on this because I might have just cocked up on this oh dear oh dear because I wanted to get the um, the black because uh, they do log color but ah uh, you know it's it's just the uh, no it was it was the hero black oh thank god for that hang on then why doesn't it say black though why doesn't it say hero black let me just get my glasses on so I'm just thinking no it's just a hero that's just a hero 10 not a hero 10 black but no the one i did get is 379 pounds reduced from 599 pounds and it comes with an extra battery and it comes with and it comes with and this is direct from here uh, gopro by the way comes with a 64 gig memory stick but why doesn't it say black why doesn't it refer to it being the black model maybe it's on the bottom I don't, I don't know, I don't know, where do you know whether you've been sent the right one or not? Uh, regulatory model number, CPKG1, let's type that in and see what we get. CPKG1, sorry I'm being a bit stupid here folks, but yeah, Hero T 10 Black, that is the black. Maybe they don't sell the normal ones anymore, maybe they only sell the black. Anyway, look, there you go, folks. That's what it looks like. And as you can see, I've got to wear glasses now to, uh, to see. What are you doing then? Are you just waiting? She's waiting. Look, she's got up now. She's like, I get up now because there's no treats left. So I, Because there's nothing there, I'm getting ready to go now. You see how I'm, ready? I'm getting ready. I'm going to leave you in a minute. I'm going because there's nothing left. There's nothing, look. Nothing. Just, just a GoPro. Oh, I'm so sorry. I haven't got anything. I've got nothing. Right, so here we go then, folks. Uh, to, to get in there, you have to rip open this little rippy thing. So here he goes. Rippy thing. And then you can open it, and it's got a nice little uh, travelly case type thing that it comes with. Now, the reason they're £379, which is... God, it smells like... It smells like solvent or something. 
quite a sm plasticky smell. There she goes. There she goes. She's like, right, I'm out of here. She's got no nothing for me. I go. So um, there we are. The GoPro 10 keeps it overheating 30 minutes max at 5K. Well, um, I can probably live with that to a certain degree because um, I'm not sure I'll be using it at 5K. I'll probably be using it at 4K. Um, I can't see the point really, you know. But look, it comes with a charging cable. It, this is what you get in the in the thing, right? So it comes with the little the little things that adapt to things with a sticky on the bottom. It comes with a little. It comes with a little screwy thing, so you can screw it into things. It comes with its battery, and it comes with the little the thing that slips into the sticky thing that you then put the screwy thing into, and then. You've got the actual Hero itself. I've, I've gone with Hero cameras over the years. Some of my earliest um, explores, like the stuff I did um, at Chilmark Bunker and ar around there, that was all done with a Hero, with a um, little Hero stabiliser gimbal. And um, so they, set, they give you this battery, but apparently this is the normal battery, but in here... Is an extreme battery which gives you more power and will work in colder temperatures so you've actually got two batteries so for 379 quid with two batteries for the black edition there we are look it doesn't say it's the extreme one so how can you tell the difference one is white so how do i know which is one is which so just white is the better one by the look of it so um oh kojaks donated five pound go have a shaky sh shaky hand experience thank you very much is that um kojaks uh football shack who donated so yeah i'll, I'll put the white one in so we're gonna take this white paper stuff off it for some reason we've got white paper all around it ah, there you go so paper comes off um you've got these little clips now so that so that it's a shorter case it's all included in the case. They have they that you can pull out these things if you need them, and these are what then connects you to your uh, mounts. But you can tuck them away if not required. So um, I have to take the sticky off the the main lens because you don't really want to operate it without that. And I understand that these lenses twist off, so you can put other other lenses on them. There we are, and it does indeed twist off. So you can twist them off. But I'm gonna twist it back on because I don't need to do that at the moment um, so I've, yeah I've gone with these over the years because I found you know GoPros to be pretty good but the reason I didn't get one of these sooner is because I got the 360 cam as you know all right now the 360 cam is great because it means that I can just be not concentrating on what I'm filming and even if I'm filming that way it's filming behind me so the 360 is good but you've got to put it up on something so it's out of the way so you can see all around you. So I've got to have it on this arm. Now, here's the reason I didn't get the uh, the GoPro is because the 360 people make this extra lens, which is supposed to be a really high quality lens. It's made by Leica. The glass is Leica. And it's just like a GoPro and you put it on in, in place of the 360. So you remove these 360 lenses and you put this on. And this is a one inch sensor and sees really well in the dark. However, what I didn't know was it's got shit stabilization on it. It's really shit. The stabilization on it is tepid at best. And also um, if you tilt the camera, it doesn't keep the horizon whereas when i've got the 360 on if i tilt in any direction the, the horizon stays perfectly solid and i thought that would apply to the one inch uh camera sensor but it doesn't it doesn't apply to it so it's like what's the point of selling that as an adapter to swap out for the 360 when it's not going to keep the horizon level what's the point so then I, I once I realised that I thought, well actually, I need to be going back onto the hero because this little puppy has a trick up its sleeve. It does what the 360 camera does. You can tilt it to 45 degrees and the horizon will stay level. 
and you can tilt it to 45 degrees that way and the horizon will stay level. And it's got very advanced anti-shake stuff. So even though this is not so low light, this is a far better stabilized camera, which is waterproof. And that thing is a piece of shit. Um, so let's see how we get the old uh, how we get the old batteries in here. Of course, I'm not going to do the sensible thing and 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 get the manual and and try and work out how to do this the correct way. I'm gonna I'm I'm clearly going to try and uh, <laughs> there we go. I found it out. So so you get the the thing up there and you get the battery and you slide him in and then you pop that down and and then push it closed and then I should be able to press the power button and see something on the front and back screens and lo and behold yes we do we have yeah 10 black oh, I see it actually shows you an image through the through the writing so it actually shows you an image of what's going on on the on the writing so it says what language do I want English French or Dutch so I'm going to say English yeah it says do I agree or disagree well I have to agree because it's not going to bloody let me work can I use GPS to tag your footage with location speed and altitude why not that sounds nice doesn't it um, install the GoPro quick app on your phone to finish the setup leave your camera on and follow the instructions okay darling I will but for this, I'm going to have to obviously um, have this on the, the phone. So I'm going to say hello to a few people first. How many have we, how many have we got in? Um, let's have a look. We've got 96 people watching this banal unboxing. Um, so let's say hello to some of them. Uh, Anthony Wilkinson, Adam George, Raven, B-Face Computing, Dark Dreams, Tony Hennessy, Kojak's Football Shack, Mitch Seymour, Adumanta, Punches Couches, Haunted Coachman, Sue Lindsay, Jody Swamps, Optical Turnkey, Jamie L. Gonads, Degenerate K, Crazy John, Hello Crazy, um, Jamie L. Eagle, Martin Hill, um, Punches Couches, uh, Gaza Gaza, Melissa Jones Paranormal, Frank Triggs, um, Like a Box of Fish Fingers, Rippy Thing, whatever that means, um, Anti Covid Solvent, yeah, it could be, um, Sunshine Dragon, um, who is new? Ace, that's a new one. Michael Concour, yes. Um, Bonjour Exploring. Um, Mitch Seymour. Todd's Metzger. Uh, do, 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 do. Simon Broberg, £379.98. Yeah, here's the funny deal, right? If you buy the GoPro and you don't... Um, and, and you don't uh, subscribe to the um, GoPro service, it costs you 560 quid or something for the, for the thing. But if you agree at 40 quid, which is included in the 379 pounds, is, that is part of the 379 pounds. So you get the free battery, memory card, and subscription to the GoPro service, which allows you to update to upload your footage onto their servers um, and do a few other things which you may not want but then you get the you get all that for 379 and you can cancel your subscription then so you don't have to subscribe 40 quid next year but it's unlimited storage of your files from your GoPro unlimited up in the cloud so 40 quid for that is not actually too bad so I know I'm sounding like a spokesperson here oh and if you damage this that 40 quid is insurance fee as well, so they'll replace it. So, you know, they're trying to get people into this idea of, like, pay the renewal subscription and we'll replace the, 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 the camera if it goes wrong. So it doesn't sound too bad, really. Anyway, let me just get this um, on the Play Store. What's it called? Uh, Quick. K-U-I-K. -K. Quick. Quick. Quick for GoPro install. There we are. So um, yeah, the, the the thing that I really want to do with this is to be able to um, have it on my head, tilt around, 
and get rid of some of the shaking and that's what I want um, and this thing is obviously higher quality than the Boblov but the Boblov sees at night but this could mean I can run around and do some more like crazy shit maybe so I don't know if it's going to uh, really replace the um, the DJI Pocket that I use because I think from a quality point of view and stability that is the daddy but if I'm ha needing to go hands free this might fill a blank so we shall see now I know somebody who films with one of these exclusively they use one of these and their footage is damn good actually and that is uh, Kaylee Colston Explores. And she does not have to make a lot of effort to really stabilise what she's doing. She just wanders around, you know, doing what she's doing. And you look at the results and it's pretty damn good. So, you know, this might be something that I could suggest to people as a, a good little option for you. You know, you can't damage it by getting it wet. You can wear it on your head or your chest. Um, you know, not good at night, that must be said, um, and might just be okay. So, uh, now I've got to put the memory card in it, and I don't know where I do that. Oh, it's, it's going to be, is it going to be in this, um, yeah, it's going to be something that I have to, like, really work hard to be able to get this. Come on. No? No? What's that then? Why did that not... Why did that not do that? That wasn't very clever. What is that? This black piece of plastic. I don't know what that... Well, where, where's all the ports then? There's no ports on this bloody thing. To plug in a microphone or... Oh, I see. The USB to charge it is in there. So if you want to charge it on the go, you've got to keep the door open. Now, that is not good. Don't like that. That is not good. And the SD card slot is inside there. So let's, let's get the SD card slot. Get the SD card and pop it in then. Um, so, yeah, that's a downside because it means you've got to keep batteries with you because you can't keep the door open Um and charge on the go you've just got to keep you've got to bring more batteries with you and just keep replacing the batteries you know you could charge the batteries in a little battery charger in your pocket that would be an option but i like powering things so they run continuously and i don't have to to change anything it's not getting warm so far anyway so let's try and pop this memory stick in here so you know if it goes around the right way because it won't go in. It, they go in at an angle, right? So it's this way. So, okay. And, and let's just pop him in. Pop that memory card in. Oops, come on, baby. There we go. That's better. So. What is that thingy then? Why was that black piece of plastic there? It doesn't look like it comes out for any any real reason. It looks like it's um, something you put uh, a lanyard through. Because so I've I've kind of broken it a bit by um, by trying to prise it up. So I don't think it was meant to be prized up. So I might super glue it back. But yeah, that looks like it's um, designed for something else. So uh, right, I've got the quick app now. Is on my phone. So do I have a Works. Do you also own a GoPro? Yes, I have a GoPro. Pair my GoPro. Let's get started. Connect a camera. Can I allow access to my device location? Searching for camera. Searching for camera. We found your GoPro. Hero 10 Black. Connect. There we go. Connect. There we are. That's said... Update date and time. Set manually or Quick Pro app. There we are. Open the Quick Pro app. I have done that. The date and time will automatically be updated when you connect your camera. That's fine. So let's say let's go. Let's go. Turn on preview to frame your shot and see what your GoPro sees. 
So, okay, so enable preview. We'll connect to the Wi Fi GoPro Wi Fi to enable preview. This may take a minute. Got it. Okay. Open the quick app. Right. So it hasn't really connected yet. Enable preview. This will connect to GoPro Wi Fi to enable preview. Got it. So, but it hasn't done it. It says it might take a minute. Well, it's taking a lot longer than a bloody mit. You know, it sh should be sort of straight up. Why is it taking so long to do this? Enable preview? Or do I have to manually do it myself? Um, yeah, this is not really, this is not really happening so far. Um, hmm. Enable preview. No. It's not happening. So press the power button up in the corner. That's not happening. Uh, power button, enable preview. Update the default to always enable preview. Yes. Yeah, got it. So I'm saying got it, got it, got it, but it's still not showing me the preview. So open the Quick Pro app. Cancel. Cancel. I'll set the set it manually then. Okay, set the time and date manually. It's the twenty twenty two. It's the twentieth of the first twenty twenty two. That's correct. Two forty two a.m. That's correct. So now it says it's only got two percent battery. So that's not very clever. So I'm gonna I'm gonna connect it up with a power cable. So that we can uh, we can give it a bit of an oomph because we can't have that um, we can't have that can we two percent battery so let's plug plug that in there and it has now a green green icon saying it's charging but um, Wi-Fi still don't I've got nothing on Wi-Fi so enable preview got it so I'm enable preview got it it just doesn't do it so am i gonna to have to go into the menus in inside the gopro to kind of get this working or what it's like one times two times so these are like one speed normal speed so it's asking me what speed i want to be at w is wide angle narrow or super view so it's like you can choose the wideness so it's a slider linear yeah so linear is where it doesn't show you the bend of the uh, thing so it doesn't have that horrible fisheye effect um so let's just put it on wide now what happens if i if i tilt it no it's not doing the anti-tilt thing at the moment it's actually if I if I do it, it's actually still doing that. So obviously the tilt mode is something you've got to turn on. Oh, there's an icon on the right hand side for tilt. I can see it there. Hang on, let me just see if I can uh, uh, zoom you in so you can see what I'm seeing here without too much problem. Because the uh, focus, you're not going to be able to see what I'm seeing otherwise. So the touch screen is much, much easier because it used to be a real problem in the past. Um, so that if I show you what's on the screen here now, uh, is that better? That's better. Right, there's a button here that's got like a tilty thing. So I'm going to press the tilty thing. Oh. Right. So... Right, hyper smooth. It's saying, "What do you want to do?" Hyper smooth. Schedule caption or duration. So I'll say, "Hyper smooth." Yep. Oh, it is pretty good actually. Watch, watch now. If I shake it, let me just bring you. If I shake it up and down, look, the image it stays pretty good, but it's not doing the anti tilt thing at the moment. So I don't know how I activate that um, 
Right, so if I, if I have to hold hold that button down. Come on, baby. Oh, auto exposure is now activated. I didn't want that. Right, so high. High. Off. Boost. Boost. So now it's in boost uh, stabilization mode. But it's still not doing. You can see it's it's like slowly, sort of like. But I I want it to do it this forty five degree angle business. So maybe I have to be on a different type of wide angle lens then. So I'm on wide. What about linear? We're going a bit closer. Does it then? Does it then handle it? If I if I move it quickly, it does it does sort of like keep me steady, but if I do it slowly it starts to to tilt. But if I hold it there, watch now, if I hold it there and then I start to do this, it does actually hold me steady, so it holds the horizon steady. So maybe it is actually doing doing what it's meant to be doing. It's getting a little bit warmer, but not really very warm. So can it do that in wide mode? It still do that in wide mode. Yeah, look, look, look. I'm still straight. Hey, but if you do it slowly, it 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 does go. But if you if you go quick, look, I'm straight. How cool is that? How cool is that? And the thing is, as well, I've not really had to bugger about in weird setting screens that were well, the old one. You had to do it on a front the front screen, and you had to go through these menus and things like that. So without much effort, I've actually managed to set this up quite nicely. So, yeah. So now I'm going to set the... Um, I've just held the button down. I'm going to set the resolution 4K30, right? I'm going to try and set it to 4K60. There we are. So that would be quite nice. 4K60. Um, yeah, how do I get off the screen? How do I get off the screen? Yeah. Schedule capture lens wide hyper smooth boost. Uh yeah, okay. So we we're back to that now. So I'm on uh it's called two times slow mo sixty frames per second. But well, you know, it people shoot at sixty frames a second, so like there we are, that's that's it. I can see myself on the front screen as well, so that's actually quite good now. Because I can, I can bang around, and uh, what I'll do is I'll sh I'll start recording on this now, I'll, and then I'll I'll bring the footage through, and I'll show you what the footage is like in a second. So, hang on, let's bring the focus back so you can see me. Okay, so I'm just gonna do some like recording now, right? So here we are, and I'm holding it perfectly steady. Now I'm gonna do some some tilty stuff. So I'm gonna vibrate up and down, up and down, up and down. So I'm sort of vibrating it like this up and down up and down up and down it's holding me rock steady actually well really quite steady now i'm going to do some angling now from side to side so i'm going to go angle 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 if i do the slow tilt it does follow so I do the slow tilt but if i and then if i bring it back straight and i do tilting which you can see is quite severe right then it didn't didn't tilt so let me just stop that okay now I know they'd say don't don't um, take the t take the memory stick out with the camera on so I'm going to hold the power button power it off but so far I'd say that was a doddle that was an absolute doddle so here we go with me tweezers well, and it's up to 7% charge it's done already. Even whilst I was doing a bit of filming and it was doing that hyper smooth. So let's get my memory stick. Chuck it in the computer. And we will see whether I can show you what that quality was like. Right, where's the mem memory stick? I haven't shown up yet. Uh, memory stick, here we go. Yeah, there we go. DCIM, GoPro, MP4. 
recording, recording now. now. Oh, that's good quality footage. It's it's um it's not focusing well for me here. It's a distance focus, so being this close to it is a I'm a little bit out of focus. But I will show you now by what should I do? Come over to the 4K screen. So here we are. Uh, let me turn off my well. I can leave the webcam on, but here we go then. Right, I'll just run through. I'll just let it run. Okay. So let me just move this over here. Right. Okay. Right, so, so here we are, are and I'm holding, I'm holding it perfectly steady, steady. You now I'm going to do some, some, some tilty stuff, stuff. so I'm going to vibrate up and down, up and down, up and down, so I'm sort of vibrating it like this, up and down, up and down, up and down, it's holding me rock steady actually, well, really quite steady, there's, there's a little bit of fuzz, fuzz on the image, but it's still quite acceptable, that might be because I've got that hyper mode on as well as like hyper boost now i'm, now gonna, I'm do gonna do some angling, angling now from side, side to side so i'm gonna go angle 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 wow angle angle angle, 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 angle. If, I if i do the slow tilt it does, it does follow. follow so i do the so slow, do the slow tilt, tilt but if i and then if i bring it back straight and i do tilting which you can see is quite severe right then it didn't didn't tilt so there you go folks that was that was very good. I'm I'm impressed. I mean, straight out the box, that is, that is bloody good. That is very good. Um, well, I'm going to have to take it out on uh, the scooter, and I'm going to have to um, take it out on the the bike, and then I can compare it then with what it's like to use the 360 camera, which has got excellent horizon stabilization. And um, obviously, uh, you can be a bit more violent with what you're doing than when I've got the um, the DJI Pocket strapped onto my chest, which does work, but you've got to be a little bit more safe with what you're doing. So, yeah, well, straight out of the box, that is interesting. Very interesting. It's getting a bit warm now with the, uh, the batteries. The batteries going. But... Um, yeah, that is that's very very interesting so far. Um, now I should somehow be able to connect it to the uh, the phone, which I haven't been able to do. Now this has always been a bit of a a thing with GoPros, you know, to kind of get them to connect to phones. I've always found that's always been a little bit of a a shitty kind of uh, situation. So I'm saying connect to my GoPro now. Let's go back to the main screen. Uh, let's have a look. What have we got? Webcam. Where am I? Webcam, webcam, webcam. There we are. Um, right. So it's just it's just saying, you know, having trouble, having trouble, having trouble finding it. So here we are. Oh, it says, would I like to update the camera? So it has kind of found it. So, uh, connect. Yeah. Update the camera. Accept and continue. Oh, it must be charged at least to 20% before you do an update. Okay, um, so I'll say cancel that then. So, oh, no, it is working now. Look, it's got my... Hello. Hello. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing it. And what's the reaction time like? So if I go... So you'll see now, if I... Um, if I... Uh, well, I'll just put my... I'll just get my hand here. So I'll get this up here. So you can see my uh, my lovely thermals, but if I move my hand, yeah, the reaction time is better than it used to be, because I've had quite a few of these. So, yeah, the reaction time's not too bad now, um, and you can access all of the menu functions that you do on the back. So, yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah, I'm going to be interested to see what this is like. I'm going to have to take this out. Of course, I'm very interested in what things can do at night. You know, that is one of my criteria is how good can a camera actually operate in the dark? That's one of my things. Uh, but to be honest, um, if it can, uh, if it can actually have um, an OK image, but do a lot of the stabilization in the dark that'll be good enough for me yeah i got my pants on 
I have indeed. Look at these sexy, sexy pants. Got these in Scotland, look. Look at those sexy pants, man. Look. Sexy thermals. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah, it's, um, it's a nice little, uh, nice little puppy, this one. Yeah. You can you can set it up as well so that you can set um, on when you turn it on it'll give you uh, profiles on your main on your main screen so you can say look I'm always shooting in 4K 60 but occasionally occasionally I'll be wanting to shoot in 4K 120 so you can set these previews and when you turn it on you can just click the preview you need for the for the function with all your settings dialed in everything dialed in that you need including one of the things I, I regularly use is I shoot in log color so I'm gonna see how hard it is on this now to to set it to shoot in log color so I'm not entirely I'm not gonna be able to show you this screen because I'm gonna be well I might be able to actually let's have a look so let's go up to um, cog and let's have a look uh, Let's see if I can find it. So GPS is turned on. That'll be interesting to know as well because I can. You can record GPS with the 360 camera, but you have to have an extra remote that you wear on your wrist, and that links the GPS. But if this can record the GPS information of where I am, then later on, I can come back on the computer, and theoretically, I can get it to overlay a map of exactly where I'm walking on a satellite map or cycling so it's a comparison of like well here I am visually but here I am on a map and it can even give you your speed your altitude and things like that so that's quite interesting so um, locate the camera <laughs> so that means it'll make a beeping sound I think so you can find where the, for where it is but this is just camera preferences so um, done what about image preferences about image preferences so that's the cog for camera preferences uh, but what about image preferences if I click on that what about that's that's photo mode oh that's live mode which must be for if you want to use this as a web camera I think you can do that um, so yeah so back into that mode and then what have you got standard 4K 60 wide, if you bring it into the edit, and you say I want to edit that mode, uh, mode settings, so now you can set what the resolution, frames per second, type of lens, hyper smooth mode, um, I'm going to put that on just like, it says boost, high, standard, off, well, I'll just keep it on boost for the moment then, um, what's this, photo timer, schedule capture, uh, upper, lower left, this lens all right this is where on the screen when you've got your touch screen you can have the functions you use regularly to pop up in the places you want them so mode setting right hyper smooth where's the stuff for color color science and log color so I still haven't found that so standard um, this is a cinematic mode High performance videos on your phone may not be played back on your phone. So that's linear mode. Uh, what happens if I push these up the top? Uh, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Does anybody know where this mode is? To get... Um, yeah, to get the... Um, uh, Linear plus horizon leveling. Yeah. So linear plus horizon leveling. 5.3k. It can handle it. Uh, but maybe 4k linear and horizon leveling at 60 frames a second. Um, it's nothing about the nothing about the color science anybody know anybody know where you can find it I can't see it can't see anything about the color modes right hang on then Google is my friend I'm gonna go and Google it a second so uh, 
he 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 wrote ten fucking hell, I can't type with my glasses on. Black uh log colour. Right. Colour profile. Right. So I don't know, I'll have to watch a YouTube video in order to find that function. Not ideal. New colour profile hero black ten black feature. Right. New GoPro colour profile. Right. Am I gonna have to watch this? God it looks terrible. Did you, Did know, you know GoPro, GoPro has, has a brand, brand new, new profile wow. that, they've that they've never, never used, used in any, any other, other GoPro before? before? GoPro, Hero Hero 10 10 profile. Profile. Now, show me, show me, natural look. color, flat color, natural color, flat color, vibrant, vibrant, natural looks bloody awful, flat looks better because that's more balanceable. Oh my god, that looks terrible, vibrant. It's just crushing the blacks to death. So vibrant is rubbish. But where's the where's the thing then, folks? Um, I've lost lost the screen now as well. Uh, where are we? Where are we, folks? I'm, I've kind of lost it. Anyone got any ideas? Well, I'm gonna better low light co low light capabilities on GoPro 10 Black, but. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know where the where the, the colour modes are because it's quite important. It's quite an important feature. So cinematic. Schedule capture photo lens, hyper smooth, duration, frames per second, mode settings. Nothing to do with the colour colour science in here at all. Damn, that's annoying. If you're getting any GoPro, you need to get the black. This is the black version. Yeah. This is the black. But do you need to know where options are for for the colours? So yeah, it says it's got a firmware update, but I can't obviously um, yeah later. So it doesn't tell me in the app here as well, which is annoying. It doesn't tell me what the battery is. It just says it's charging, but it doesn't tell me how much how much of the battery is there. Um. Hmm. So I don't know. It's not jumping out at me, folks. Um. Look in master adjust menu. Yeah, but but where on on the camera? On the camera again. Let's have a look. So cinematic. I was telling me it's ten percent battery. It's got now. Right. So what about this? Time lapse? No. Video? Yeah, okay. What about if I press the battery? Nope, that doesn't do anything. What's this what's this like? Linear plus horizon leveling. Well these are the different lenses you can have, but one of them is linear plus horizon leveling. Yeah. When that that does hold the horizon. Ah, look now. If you put it on linear plus horizon leveling, even if I do it slow now, it keeps the horizon level up to 45 degrees, then it goes beyond, yeah? But but that's the one you really want, linear and horizon leveling, because it means that no matter what I do now, it stays level. And that is magic, folks. That is magic. Because it's taking out the bend of the fisheye of the lens. But it is getting warm. Ooh, that is 
That's roasty toasty, that is. That is roasty toasty. Wow. So, yeah, what they said, what that person said about this might overheat could be true. So, um, still no options here for... Not on the side. So, no, no. If you slide up from the bottom, you get your playbacks. If I slide down from the top, ah, slide down from the top and you get voice commands, beeps, rabbit mode, whatever that is, lock the camera. What's this lens mode? Max, you need to be updated to use max lens mode. What's this then? Orientation locked. Orientation locked. Okay. I have an orientation all. Front screen options. Okay. No. Um, connections preferences. Preferences. General. Beep volume. Yeah. Video compression. HEVC. Ah, it can. It, it actually shoots in H two six five, which is a much better format. So I'm glad about that because H two six four was shit. Right, let's change the month to day, day, month, month, year, year. That's good. Okay, so it's not under general. Displays, regional, mods. Mods. Max, led, max lens mod. I think this is where you can take the lens off and you can put a different lens on, which is more wide angle or something like that. Um, displays. Orientation all. Brightness of the screen, yeah. So, okay, so still not really anything to do with color here. So, quick capture, right? No, that just means you can turn the camera on uh, and go straight into recording by, by holding the record button it turns on and goes straight into record so it's a way of kind of firing the the whole thing up a lot quicker so um what about from the left hand side no left hand side swipe just switches between photo time lapse and thing still no nowhere am i seeing um anything for the color science so i'm gonna have to uh Delve deep here, folks. I think I'm going to have to delve deep. But what I'm going to do now, I mean, obviously, can't take you with me, but I am going to continue to charge this up a bit. I'm going to take the dog in the car. I'm going to go up to the park, and I'm going to, with my torch, wander around and just see whether this is capable of doing anything um, stable, semi-stable with the light levels that I'll be uh, supplying it. So we shall see. Okay then, so uh, that's it basically. We've done the uh, we've done the unboxing, so I thought just a little uh, little something to, to titillate you for a, for a little bit. I suppose I could put myself back to being in focus now, couldn't I? Um, there we go. Um, anybody got any questions on on that? I mean, I that's all I I kind of know at the moment about it, but um, swipe left. Okay, hang on, I'll have to turn it back on then. Right. Right, so he's saying swipe left. That was weird. Swipe left. So, okay, that's photo mode. Right, but if I swipe left or right, it just switches between photo, time lapse, and something else so yeah so swipe left and swipe right is to switch between video photo and time lapse swipe up switches you into playback mode recording now right so here we are and i'm holding it perfectly steady now i'm going to okay and uh swipe down gives you these extra options i think that's grid grid pattern voice mode 
whether it makes noises or not um, orientation of the screen max lens mode lock lock mode but still nothing for the color science it's weird very strange folks very strange I shall I shall be looking into it I'll read the manual now and see if I can find out how to change the color modes and then uh, would that be better to strap it on the bike or myself I think it'd be better to put on my helmet cam helmet because um, there's so much violent um, shaking with the bike that your neck and head actually gets rid of a lot of that crap so I think it's probably best to uh, to put it on the helmet so it doesn't work in low light situations but that's definitely where you see the um, uh, 3D noise reduction works in 4K 30 uh, and 24 set frames per second so that's the 3D noise res noise reduction so I will try that when I go up the hill now I'll make sure I put it back to 40 uh, sorry 4k 30 as well as 60 and they say you should unplug it whilst it's being used okay right everyone's saying to unplug it yeah okay I'll just leave it charge up now on its own so I'll unplug it for a bit yeah I'll unplug it because it's getting quite warm so um, it's got enough charge there for me to go up the hill and do something with it anyway so upgrade the hero plus to the enduro battery as it's as much battery as the gopro is enduro battery as it's much battery as the gopro 10 is not that good okay well it comes with the enduro battery there's a blue and there's a white so i don't know which one's which but um, connect to mains and it will upload to your cloud okay so if you connect it to the mains it'll automatically send your footage up to the cloud I may not want that though I may not want it to automatically upload to the cloud because I just don't need that functionality it's not not my thing um, so what about I'm going to go and have a look at the manual for this now. So uh, let's have a look at support. Support. Uh, GoPro. Apps. Yeah. Um, not seeing support yet, but help. Here we are, help. Uh, shipping and delivery product manuals. Here we go. Customer support, product manuals. I usually find it's easier to look for this sort of help um, on YouTube videos, to be honest. I find that they're a lot easier than buggering about with reading manuals. But product manuals, here we go, product manuals. Ta -da, it's online manual. So let's do a search for um, log. Logos, right now. No, oh, so that's all the way to the end. So, um, uh, color, color, so standard by standard resolution, schedule capture, no duration, lens, hyper smooth, hindsight. Okay. Ah, Protune. Ah, where do where do I find that? Protune. That's what I need. Customizing a GoPro. Right, mode video. Tap a setting to change it. Choose settings. Okay. Well, let's see if I can find it in the menus. Then it is there, but I can't. So, right, so is it, you press the cinematic, no, right, is that it, I can scroll up and down, manage, 
manage 4 4k 60 wide so let's restore that to its original so it's 4k 30 wide All right All right Right. 4K standard wide. So you, you click on the thing and then you've got to click, I assume you've got to click this button that has a little, oh, hang on. Hyper smooth on, right? Scheduled capture standard. Standard. Oh, <laughs> yeah, basically, when you go into the, when you go into the window, might as well show you this. So I've got a, zoom problem right i thought that was it but you can scroll up you can keep scrolling and there's more and more and more that's where the hidden settings were yeah so it was under the um speed and lens settings but yeah so there we go so now i can scroll up i've got a pro tune and i can turn on the pro tune so bit rate is standard i can say make it high Yep. Yep, so we can use high bit rate, that's nice. Um you can have ISO maximums. So you can have high ISO. Sixty four hundred ISO. Sharpness, colour natural. No, I want the colour to be flat. There we go. Uh, wind auto and audio, raw audio off records the standard audio without a raw audio track creates a raw audio track with mod, moderate processing creates a raw audio track with full processing record standard or without raw audio track I don't understand what it means by raw I'll have to look into that uh, yeah okay so that's 4k 30 lens is wide now I want to be I want to be on linear and horizon leveling there we go that's it so linear and horizon leveling there we are so I've now edited that so it's linear plus horizon editing and cinematic um, you can have activity mode which will be 60 frames per second um, and cinematic which I suppose it should be like 5.6 or something like that but anyway anyway I've got 27% battery on it now so it didn't take a long time to charge up so I am going to go uh, well I might go at the back actually I'll just go at the back garden with my head torch on sod it why bother driving all the way up the hill? Um, yeah. So I'm going to get my um, get my dressing gown on, and I'm going to get all weird and freak the neighbours out with the torches at 3 a.m. in the morning because this is what I do. Um, and I will I will give you the results. I will give you the results. Um, well, on another. Yeah. Raw, raw audio records the audio in WAV format, so it's not compressed audio. Oh, that's okay then. Yeah, bigger file size, but better quality. Ah, okay. Most settings are done in the app, to be fair. Okay. The white Enduro battery is better. That's the one I put in there, actually. So, yeah, he's cooling down a bit now, but... Yeah, I get the feeling that this is going to be a bit of a uh, blisteringly hot camera. So I'm going to go out and experiment with some of that crap then and have a bit of fun. Um, get my uh, head torch on and get the big torch out as well. And uh, we shall be back. Well, not tonight because I think you don't want to wait whilst I... Um, um, 
yeah, you don't want to be waiting whilst I go and do this. So, uh, mm. I'll go and see what we can find out. Unless you do want to wait, but I'm going to be putting it through its paces. I'm going to be doing too many modes. So, um, yeah. Uh, but 30 frames a second, they said, has the digital noise reduction. <laughs> so, hopefully, hopefully that will... Um, uh, will show up a nicer image but we shall see I'll try 60 frames a second which won't have any noise reduction on it and I'll try the 30 frames a second to see what that built-in noise reduction is like so uh, there we go then folks I suppose a good time to end it as any but um, yeah look at me I'm going out my back garden dressed like this so yeah all right we'll catch you in a little bit then um, what they're saying, yes, they're waiting. You can't, you can't, you can't wait. Hang on, I tell you what, then, if you're going to wait, I'll put something on that you can watch. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, um, I made a mistake. You know, on the, um, you know, on the video with um, Watership Down, it didn't have the titles of telling you where you were looking at and what things were what. So I'm going to re-upload it with the titles on it. Okay, so you're going to have a, a, another version of it, but it's just at a few key locations, it tells you with text what the locations are. Because, you know, you, you don't exactly know where Watership Down is. I do. When I was watching it, I was going like, oh, yeah, that's Watership Down. But I forgot there's meant to be a title on it saying Watership Down, so you know where the places are. Oh, they want me to stay on. Right, okay. All right, well, you'll have to... I'll put Watership Down on for you then for a minute. I'll go and do my little experiments with a dog and I'll just use this torch and then I'll come back in a few minutes I'll plug this memory card in and we'll have a look to see whether or not some of this is uh, I can't stream it live because yeah it's, I, I've only got one pair of hands and, and a, one brain cell so uh, let's keep it simple um, okay so um, what am I going to do then I'm going to put on the Watership down. I'll put a little bit of that on for you, so you've got something to be entertained with, whilst I bugger about, bugger about in the uh, back garden. So here we go. Is this loud enough? There we go, folks. I'll give you some in whilst I'm whilst I'm away. Oh, you don't want this, do you?
Hey, I am back. I am back. I'm back. There's nippy nips out there. Ice. Ice on everything. So, uh, yeah. Extract, uh, extract the memory card. Pop it in. Get it in the computer. And see what we got. Ooh, so. Yeah, it's very cold out there tonight. There's a lot of frost, actually. So, what have we got then? Is this the one where I just walked out now? Recording now. No, that's, the, that's the one we were switching to the camera earlier on. Right. Oh, it's absolutely horrible at night. It's. Oh, it's really quite pronounced. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have a look at this folks. Have a look at this then, right? Ooh. Ooh, it's bad. It's bad. It's really bad. Hang on, here we go. Um here we go. Look at that. Look at that for noise. Yeah, this is live, mate. I'm talking to you live, but the recording I just did at the back garden here is not live. But that is just horrific. But then again, I've always known GoPros to be shit at night. They are shit. Right. But that was the... Right, that's the lowest. This is the medium setting, and that's the brightest setting. That's on the high brightness. I'm tilting it left to right now to simulate what the wires are going over. And I'm being quite rough here with it. And yeah, yeah the vibrating, vibrating rotor. Rotor. So let's, let's take, take a little, little walk. So I'm just, I'm just hand holding this for the right folks. It's just a screen handheld. Okay, and uh, I'm not doing, doing anything, anything specifically, specifically to, to keep it, keep it straight. straight. There we go. There's a doggy. So, yeah. Did I have night mode on? Is there a night mode? What are we looking at? Uh, this is just my back garden and this is the GoPro. I'm just testing what its light capacity is like. Um, if you've got a strong light on, I think you'll be okay. But just expecting it to catch stuff in the dark, not really going to happen. So this is at 60 frames per second now. So I put it on 60, which means there's none of this digital noise reduction. So that's too off at the higher frame rates which might be actually better because it was making a piss poor job of making those horrible things so it might be better to actually force it not to use digital noise reduction and for me to do that later I'd say that actually looks better that digital noise reduction is poo folks now it's much better with the digital noise reduction off I'd say that's a hell of a lot better, wouldn't you? I'd say it's a hell of a lot better. I mean, if I drag that into Premiere now and have a look at what, what I can do with that in Premiere, because I can probably boost the boost the light up. But yeah, that um, digital noise reduction is like, nah. Nah, what's that saying? They are too expensive, Matt. Hmm, what's that? They're not known for their low light cap capabilities. No, exactly. Which is why the Boblov with its infrared at night is probably better, you know, to walk around without having to have a huge torch advertising your presence. Um, but let's just see what we can boost it up in Premiere without... Um, Scottish Dave says they're too expensive. You can see the frost on the grass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well... I, I would say if you can turn it on to 30 frames per second, but turn off that digital noise reduction, you're going to get an extra stop of light. Um, but yeah, that digital noise reduction is not for me, I don't think. Because um, that was really making a, a like a pig's ear of it. So we'll have to experiment like that. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we are. Look, there's my um, things. And here's the... Remember I said I didn't have the titles? Now I do. There's the titles. And there's the titles. So that'll be coming on in a bit. So um, let me just... Uh, 
let me just bring uh, hang on let me just um, bring this in so let's drag it in mind you it is on a memory card hang on L give me give me two secs folks I need to um, I just need to drag this off the memory card because you can't edit or do crap like this on a memory card it's just not not an option so let me just drag it somewhere safe but I don't want to bring up my contents of my folders because I don't want you seeing what's in them GoPro just in case there's something that you're not supposed to see because I know what I'm like you know we've got to keep these future videos slightly secret so that they're more interesting and exclusive when they eventually come out right here we go so we've got both pieces of footage let me bring you back onto the main screen then yeah that is not copyright Matt is that not copyright what um, look at that hor isn't it horrible Whoa, look at that horrible noise reduction where it's fuzzing everything out and going blue green blue green blue green blue green and then later on when it's just black with no noise reduction it's great but look at that horrible noise reduction it's just like whoa so how much can we boost it up then we can boost the light up quite a bit and it's doing some weird fuzzing and stuff which I'm not sure I like the look of but yeah but if you're prepared to keep the blacks down and not boost them if you're prepared to keep the blacks down a bit it's not quite so bad you know not quite so bad but it might be that I can turn off um, we have all seen your blocks you've all seen my blocks what's that blocks blocks I don't understand what you mean um okay yeah but that noise there noise reduction on 30 frames a second is just like that's appalling but then when you switch it into the um 60 frames a second so it, it ditches the noise reduction then that's not too bad because i don't want it to attempt to noise reduce anything i want to see the grain so bollocks Watership down films can they not charge me a fee no because it's under fair use so i'm using under fair use and it's transformative because Watership Down is an animated movie. And what I'm doing is taking people to the movie locations. I've removed the audio from most of it. And what I'm doing is saying, this was a bit of the film. Here's the actual location. Here's a bit of the film. Here's the location. So, um, yeah, they haven't slapped any copyright things on me as of yet. And um, they've just done it on the music. So... They're not worried about the uh, the visuals at this point. And I did upload it years ago, and they did have a go at me about the visuals, but they haven't done yet. So until they do, then I will um, I will be happy. So yeah, all we need to do then really is um, yeah. He means he means he saw your bollocks. Where did you see my bollocks? My bollocks haven't been out this evening. Um, I'd be very surprised if you did. Anyway, never mind. So, I mean, there's not much else I can say at the moment. I need to experiment with these modes and ways to turn off the digital noise reduction. And uh, I can then see whether or not that's going to be uh, something I can work with. Because I don't want it to, to attempt in any way, shape or form to clean that image. I want it raw, noisy. I can then do the noise cleaning because I have professional software for that. But I think this is because they're trying to attempt to do it on the fly, on the fly for people that don't know any better. But of course, I have access to some quite sophisticated um, 
plugins for Premiere to get rid of noise. So if I can turn off that noise bollocks, then we might be in business. It might be good. So all I need to do really is uh, is find out are there any of these modes that that turn off all that all that nasty noise reduction. So we'll have to have a look in these special modes then. So let's have a look in the the one that was horrible, which was linear plus, linear plus, and then we edit that. And we say yeah, resolution hyper smooth is high. So it might be something to do with hyper smooth. Protune is on. The raw audio, the sharpness is medium. That's probably what it is. Is sharpness is medium. So if I put the sharpness to high, then it probably won't attempt to um, uh, to bugger about with the image. Mm. And you can turn the ISO down a bit. It's on 6400 ISO plus or whatever. Turn it down to maximum of what, like 3200, and just fill in with with the light. You know. Yeah. Shutter auto. You can set the manual shutter rate as well if you want, but. Adjusting the shutter could affect the stabilization in low light. So, okay. Anyway, we'll experiment with that and we'll see what the high sharpness is like. Because I get the feeling that low sharpness is... Um, low sharpness is probably where it's putting in the uh, digital noise reduction. Uh. But anyway, it might be a good one for... Uh, uh, high octane explores as opposed to uh, other things so we'll have to see what it what it's what its fortes are and uh, put it through its paces um, yeah so there we go folks um, yeah so somebody's been hidden for something they said I didn't see it <laughs> somebody's been naughty have they oh dear yeah. Right then. Well, that's me done. I think I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna re-render the uh, good old um, watership down video with the titles, and I'll re-upload that for tomorrow. And uh, up and coming, we have the 360 of Monks Park, and then. Uh, I'm going to have to start looking through my stuff to see what else we've got because uh, we'll be running a little bit low on uh, materials then. So uh, for the moment, I shall charge this puppy up, I think. Put him on charge. And then we'll uh, we'll let you know how we get on with, um, with setting some of this stuff up for for nighttime or, if that don't work, daytime fun. So... Okay, well, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, I hope I hope it uh, it works out as a good camera. Uh, I'm sure it will because being able to run like crazy and not worry about what's happening with the gimbal is definitely um, is definitely something that you want to be uh, using. Now I know, see, Kaylee Colston uses hers, and she goes into fairly dark locations, and she doesn't get any of this horrible noise reduction crap on hers. So I don't know uh I don't know what she's doing but I'll have to check it out and I'll have to have a look at some of these tutorial videos on uh, how to set up your uh GoPro um Hero 10 Black for shooting and what works and what doesn't. So okay then fa folks facts okay facts um if you want I'll do a future video when I've worked out what the best settings are and uh Certainly looks like it'd be an absolutely perfect camera for daylight use, but um, probably requiring quite a lot of light in order to uh, sort itself out for um, dark use. So, she has bright lights. 
No, she doesn't actually. She's got quite she's got quite dim lights, uh, Kaylee. So um, she's not supplying as much light as I've got. So she must be doing something else. We shall have to have a look into it. Okay then, folks. Well, nice to see you all, and we shall catch you soon.